Howdy everybody, this is Bake, IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about defense setup again. Now, I know I've been talking about it a lot lately, but there's also still a lot of people that need to work on defense, and there's all, still a lot of questions that are going on around about, around about it. So I'm still of the belief that single type is the way to go for defense. So that's what this video is going to be about, is single type defense. Uh, setting up with strong single type because of level 60 weapons is pretty much the easiest quote-unquote way to set your defense up right now. My defense is going to be different than a lot of other people's defenses, but I'm going to talk about why I make these decisions and why I do what I do. So I am an infantry trap. I can switch it to other ones because I have the level 60 weapons to do that, but a lot of people can't. Infantry, most people have the most aspirant. That's what's most important. Most important part of going single type trap are those level 60 weapons. So you see I've got aspirant weapons right there. If you don't have enough aspirant weapons for your guard captain, your deputy, and everything else, then break them down, don't all the way upgrade them, do whatever you have to to get aspirant weapons or single type weapons. So, head and chest slot. I use Dark Lord, as you saw right there, because of the defense on Dark Lord. Crimson Steel is incredibly good, it has a ton of HP, it has a ton of attack debuff. If you are single type, you can also go with the single type level 40 gear. See Slaughter, 162% defense and HP for infantry, that's what you're concerned with. It's very, very good, it means your pre-meat's not going to be as strong. But uh, we'll talk about that in a little while. So, your three options basically for head and chest are going to be Dark Lord if you have a whole lot of troops. That's the reason you use Dark Lord, is for the troop defense buff. Crimson Steel, uh, if you want the HP and the attack debuff, just as good as Dark Lord, way better than Dark Lord if you don't have as many troops. And then third option would be just single type. For accessories, I use Crimson Steel Pendants because I like the HP and the attack debuff. Radiant Lord Pendants, if you have those and you're not a big time attacker person, actually have more defense and HP than Crimson Steel. Crimson Steel has the attack debuff on it, though. I use Crimson Steel. You can also use Slaughter, or whatever your level 40 set is, if your archers use, you know, obviously use archer gear. That has 162% defense and HP. It's quite viable. It's very good. If you're using your Radiant gear for attacking or whatever else like that, Crimson Steel or the single-type accessory are just as good. Dark Lord, because it's only level 20 still, has less defense, less HP. It's got a decent amount of attack, but it is what it is. So, pets, you're going to want lava turtles. Pretty much 100% of the time, you're going to want lava, tur lava turtles. You can use the uh, blue single-type pets as well, but lava turtles are pretty much the way to go. Uh, if you don't have enough lava turtles, like basically what you need to do is you need to, quote-unquote, break your lava turtles and get one all over the place, except for if you have these very, very high-level blue ones. So see, a level 15 has 60% defense and HP. That's pretty much your only two options at pet. It's going to be lava turtle and the blue single type for whatever you are. Runes. Again, I'm going to be a little different. I'm running defense runes. I've got mighty runes enhanced all the way with infantry defense on them. If you have less troops than me, then or not less troops than me, if you have less troops, then you're going to want to run troop HP. Same thing for the head and the chest that we talked about. Um, the difference between knowing if you want defense or HP is basically right around the two maybe 3 billion troop mark. If your meat shield is over 3 billion, you should start looking into going for defense more instead of HP. That's the cutoff that I'd put. People ask, how many troops do you need? The answer is always more. You need more troops. How many T7 strat do I need? As many as you can make. As many diamond shards and resources you have, that's how many T7 strat you want. How many meat shield do I need? As many as you can make. That's the bottom line. See, I've got 5 billion T5 infantry. My pre-meat in front of that is way smaller, and we're going to talk more about that in a second. But So the fact that I have 5 billion T5 infantry is the reason that I go with troop defense anywhere that I can get it. That's why I'm running Dark Lord Head and Chest. That's why I'm running Defense Runes is because I have 5 billion troops. Lots of people won't have that many troops. If you've got 2 to 3 billion troops, that's when you're going to want to start moving up to defense, moving away from HP. You still want as much HP as possible, but um, that's the bottom line is... The more troops you have, the better defense gets, and that's why I do that. Um, if I could have 10 million T5 troops, I would have 10 million T5 troops. Troop count is incredibly important. Defense is incredibly good with it. Let's talk about pre-meat. This is where everybody messes up. 
this is the bread and butter of a single type setup is your pre-meat setup. So I've got T5 for my meat shield. My 5 billion troops are T5. A lot of people run T4. If you're running T4, you're going to want to try to get up to T5. I say that for your pre-meat setup. The pre-meat setup is what really, really matters. So see how I've got T3 and T4 in front of all my T5. That's why I say you want to get to T5 is so you can have multiple layers. That's what works. Um, I've got infantry and cav T3. Only a small amount of them because I'm, I'm big. I've got a lot of gear. I've got a lot of troops. Um, the more pre-meat you have, the better. A lot of times you're going to burn because of your pre-meat. But it is what it is. So I've got infantry as my meat shield. Therefore, I've got infantry and cav on the bottom. That way, if they send archers at me, they hit those cav and it stops. Uh, above that, I've got T4 archers and cav as well. That way, if they send a solo at me, hopefully that three tier three and T4 will stop the solo uh, and and eat that, and then they'll get into the big large meat shield after that point with the rally. Um, so, the most successful traps that I see are the guys that have like literally three or four million of each type troop in front of their large meat shield. They're going to burn to solos a lot, but they're not going to burn hard, and they're going to not get hit hard by rallies. That's what's been working the best. So Lord skills are pretty straightforward. Uh, you scroll all the way over, you see the enemy basic leverage attack decrease. That's the one you want. I run infantry troops for my defense, therefore I've got enemies archer basic leverage attack decrease filled out. If you're running archers, you're going to want the cav leverage decrease. If you're running... Cav, you're going to want the infantry leverage decrease. So defensive setup is a little bit different. So see how I've got both of the ar uh, basic archer leverage attack? That's the most, most, most important thing for Lord skills is just getting those leverage attacks uh, done. So back to the pre -meet thing. Most people that I see that are incredibly good, like I said, they've got three or four million of the off types standing in front. Obelisks are also a huge deal for 99% of the time. In this game because usually you're going to be doing something that the obelisk applies to whenever you're fighting uh be it invasion dark moon blood moon whatever it is if you haven't been working on your obelisks you need to they provide a ton of stats it's very important to get those up so try to work towards getting your obelisk done as quickly as possible make sure you're doing that every single day um they get more expensive as you get towards the end as you get towards level a thousand they get a lot more expensive so if it gets too expensive for you move to another one uh, I mean, you don't only want to be a badass in Invasion. You also want to be in Blood Moon and in Dark Moon and the other ones as well. So all the others are good. And then, obviously, last but not least, one of the single most important things you can do is your execution buff. Make sure that you got execution buff active at all times. It is incredibly, incredibly important. So, hope this helps. Like, subscribe, do all those other things. Make sure that you've got your pre-meet set up correctly. That is the most important thing for single-type trapping. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope it helps.